This home prides itself on modern design while respecting its surrounding African landscape. Equally important to architect Werner van der Meulen was optimizing its views and creating a comfortable space for his clients. The result is 777 square meters of luxury. Werner, I must say, this is a work of art. Thank you. Um, the reason we're standing here is because I would like to show you how I designed the house. And this is the first thing you see as you approach the house. What I did initially was I took these modules and I compartmentalized them so you could clearly define their function from a distance away. This entrance to the house is on the southern side so that the house can live out onto the northern side. So if you follow me, I will take you there. The north-facing facade permits natural light to heat the house in winter, while overhangs keep it cool in summer. A water-wise garden leads you to the front door, and beyond it, an interior for a young family of six offers more than enough room for everyone. Okay, this is the southern side of the house where you'll find the entrance. Mm -hmm. And this is Fia, my sister-in-law and interior designer. Hello, Fia. Hi, Simba. Pleased to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Please, come inside. Lovely, let's go. Oh, this just gets better and better. But I want to find out, how do the two of you work together? Well, I'm actually married to Rudolf, Vanna's brother, and uh, it's a family business. Okay. Fia is not the only family member that's actually involved in this house. My younger brother, Leo, had the sculpture behind me. My mum did some of the paintings in the house. Mm -hmm. And Rudolf, my older brother, helped finish the house. We have a store that supplied most of the furnishings in this house, high-end furniture from Italy, and it really adds luxury to the space, marrying the, the rugged textures of the site with the very luxurious plush furnishings. Each box in this house sort of has its own defined space, but it still flows really well. How did you manage to blur the lines in terms of interior design? Well, in terms of looking at this space, the entrance hall features an atrium and we made use of concrete podiums with planting that we actually brought these concrete podiums into the interior as well. You can see Job, a sculpture by Richard van der Meulen, is featured on a concrete podium and the staircase itself is a collection of concrete podiums leading to the upstairs. The double volume entrance hall is framed by an overhead bridge linking the upper story bedrooms, while light panels create a warm backdrop for the steel staircase inlays. Is this, is this scaffolding? <laughs> that is scaffolding, yes. This is a wall made of scaffold planks and it's also rusted. And then there's actually lighting behind it that gives off a light glow at night. In terms of the rest of the layout of the house? This is a great example of a negative space and this sort of developed because of these modules that I peeled apart from each other. What happened was the atrium spaces you get here and then on the right hand side and then the family room space here in the middle. And Fia, I must say the use of colour is brilliant. Oh, thank you. We derived it from the colours from the stone as, as well as the rust colours. Mm -hmm. Orange being an accent of rust and the natural quarried stone. Mm -hmm. And then the opposite to that would obviously be charcoal. So that's why we have these charcoal accents um, together with orange. There's a lot of stone cladding around this house. Where's all of it from? The stone was quarried from site. Oh, wow. Quarried, cut, we must have gone through about 2,000 blades. The contractors weren't impressed. <laughs> and this just opens up beautifully to that view. This is actually one of my favorite spaces. It's a great example of where we try to blur the boundaries between inside and outside. And it's also the main entertainment area and we try to utilize the views here as much as possible. So as you can see, you get the main kitchen area, dining area, bar area and outside sitting area all combining into one big open space and it is fantastic. The kitchen and the bar area, they, they treat it more like furniture pieces. And the use of material, again, we have the play of highly finished surfaces okay. together with rough surfaces, so you get that contrast. We actually try to use raw materials as much as possible through the house. And as you can see, you get the timber decking over here, the rusted metal panels we used on the outside, mm -hmm. and then the off shutter and polished concrete work that you find here by the bar area. It feels like all the hard work has paid dividends. It's all in your blood, right? Well, I was born into a house of architects. My dad's an architect, and it's something I've always wanted to be. I think it's the same for Fia, yeah? Yeah, I'm third generation architect. My, my grandfather, my father, and then I studied architecture. So yes, definitely, I would say born in a family of architects and living with a family of architects. I think we try and keep it as much in-house as possible. De definitely. <laughs> well guys, if this is just downstairs, I can't wait to see what's upstairs. While you guys are upstairs, I'll try and prepare a surprise for you. Fantastic, we'll see you now. The upper level consists of two wings with four bedrooms. In the west wing are three bedrooms for the children, and in the east, a suspended walkway overlooking the atrium leads to a private space for their parents. 
So this is the main suite. As you can see, it's a quiet sanctuary within this home and it opens up beautifully to the view. The flooring you can see is the same using inside and outside. Mm -hmm. Again, blurring of boundaries. Mm -hmm. We placed the, the vanity unit to the center of the room. It forms the main feature of the bedroom. But you can actually see the basins from the bedroom side. And the use of color, I see you used a lot of uh, charcoal and black. Yes, we followed the same tones that we've used downstairs, the charcoal undertones of concrete and stone salvaged from site. And so in this room, charcoal is the theme, and then obviously the natural wood, again, one of the raw materials. I, I love this home. Can it get any better? Sure, I don't think so. I mean, with this view and the use of materials, it just feels warm. The context of the South African landscape, you can feel it. You can feel it in the materials. And by adding plush furnishings, it feels like a home. You know, that reminds me, I can't wait to see what Vanna has downstairs for us. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's get you there. Very <laughs> cool. While a functional escape for the adult, the home is a dream for the kids, each of whom have their own balcony plus ensuite bathroom. The garden below with a pool and a network of elevated pathways is the ultimate playground for the whole family. So where are you playing golf? One of the great things that happened by designing these terraces is that in conjunction with that we designed a lake to help capture the rainwater. And then the client suggested that we add a chipping green in the middle of it as he's quite an advent golf player. Well, how about we have a go? Why not? I'm definitely going to leave it to the boys. Preserving the site's natural vegetation was key, but every golfer needs a putting green. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can go after that. Simba would have to settle for a mulligan. <laughs> what sets this Heifelt family home apart is that whilst most designs stand out from their environment, the Fundamulans have ensured that theirs pays homage to it.